Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Astronomers have discovered a neutron star with the puzzling ability to change from one type of pulsar to another. The star is located 18,000 light years from Earth and is called IGR J182452452. What will they do when they run out of clever names? It was discovered as a radio pulsar in 2005 and then rediscovered as an X-ray pulsar earlier this year. Now astronomers have confirmed that the star is part of a binary system and alternates from radio to X-ray depending on whether or not it's accreting material from its nearby stellar companion. This discovery is not only cool, it's scientifically significant. It was previously assumed that the accretion process where one star draws stellar material away from another in a binary system was relatively constant. This pulsar demonstrates that that process can stop and start up again frequently over the course of several days. Next up, a team of scientists from Stanford University and the SLAC National Accelerator Lab have built the world's smallest particle accelerator, small enough to fit on the tip of your finger. The tiny accelerators are chips of glass specially manufactured with precisely designed channels half a micron high which generate electrical fields when hit with an infrared laser, accelerating electrons at a rate ten times higher than a conventional accelerator. This is brand new technology and there are still some obstacles to be hurdled. At present, these accelerator chips are only useful for giving a final boost to particles that have already been accelerated by conventional particle accelerators. Nonetheless, the potential applications for these accelerator chips range far beyond the laboratory into practical fields such as combat medicine and diagnostic imaging. And finally, a team of scientists from Harvard and MIT have created a new form of matter made from light or more properly, photons, the massless quantum particles that make up light. They're called photonic molecules, and they're made by shooting pairs of photons through a vacuum chamber filled with a cloud of super-cold rubidium atoms. As they pass through the cloud of atoms, the photons slow down, and they interact both with the rubidium atoms and with each other. When they reach the end of the cloud, they emerge together as a single photonic molecule. The practical potential of these photonic molecules is staggering. Once we are better able to understand their properties, and we get better at making them, they could be used for everything from quantum communications to manufacturing. Imagine three-dimensional objects constructed out of photons. Objects like crystals, or pyramids, or... swords? Take your Jedi weapon. Use it. Astronomers discover a pulsar that alternates from radio to x-rays, scientists build the world's smallest particle accelerator, and a team of scientists from Harvard and MIT create a new form of matter made from light. That's the good news. Hold still. I'm just kidding, it already fell out. I didn't pull her whiskers out. I'm not that much of a dick.